All right, thanks for tuning in, guys, uh, to another fun gun review. Um, what I have before you, as you can see, is a uh, Phoenix Arms uh, HP-22. I'm sure as you read from the title. Um, before we get the video started, I want to give a shout out to um, a buddy of mine. He's a local FFL dealer, Scheffler Straight Shooters out of Crooksville. Um, you can visit him on Facebook. Uh, he has all the budget-friendly uh, firearms that we all we all love. And I just spoke to him, and he is, uh, uh, if not by the time this is uh, posted, will be ready to ship. So. You can contact him straight on Facebook, get some uh, shipping information to your FFL dealer, and uh, I will also post a link in the description uh, right to his Facebook. So, um, and I, get, I ended up picking this range kit 205 out the door. Um, so that's I thought that was a pretty good price. So uh, now we got that out of the way, we will get to what's in the box. Um, one of the things that comes in the box with this pretty cool. I probably won't use it, but I thought it was pretty cool. A uh, little patch that came with the gun. And nice little case uh, considering this is going to be basically just a range uh, plinker. Uh, I did opt for the deluxe kit. Um, considering basically this is just, I'm not going to be using it for any kind of self-defense. It's just, just going to be for fun. So, um, Let's see what you get in the box is basically the pistol you'll get two mags one has a uh, pinky extension which is kind of ridiculous um, and then also the one that's just flush uh, this holds don't does not hold any extra rounds you get I think it's a three inch barrel and then you also get five inch barrel um, and then you get this ridiculous lock that will never get used. Um, keys to the box, which will never get used. Um, and then you get your instruction pamphlet with a bunch of warnings. Uh, I think it's just because they know that basically a lot of first-time owners are going to be uh, buying this gun. And uh, they just want to cover their ass in case of any kind of negligent discharge and somebody gets hurt they can say that it was in the manual so that's out of the way they do give you some earplugs some patches which they give you more than this i've used quite a bit because as soon as i got this gun i cleaned it and uh, applied the frog loop so i went through about half of those and then um let me get this out of the way Clear. Oh, and they give you some oil, which will never get used neither. I'll throw it in my oil, my box, all the other stuff. Um, and then here is what the top of the box looks like. Basically, you got a uh, your cleaning supplies. This is actually not too bad. Um, really quite impressed that they actually give you a little cleaning kit uh, with the gun. So. Now that all that's out of the way, get all this stuff here that don't mean anything out of the way. And let's get to the gun, the magazines, and the barrel. Okay, so uh, basically we're going to go over uh, basically some, some gun review stuff. Uh, number one topic is uh, usage. Uh, we have home defense, CCW, range slash train, training, or bug out. Home defense, I'm going to say, no, not unless basically this is the only thing you had. Then, yeah, you know, I mean, I always go back to the pointy stick thing. Um, CCW, no, um, but there again, if it's all you had, I mean, you're stupid not to carry something that at least you have. Um, range, definitely. That's definitely what this is designed for. It is a definitely a range gun um, bug out. Well, you know, if it proves to be halfway reliable, I'm going to say yeah, uh, especially considering uh, the recoil springs and uh, parts. You could basically build uh, uh, parts to go kit and have it ready to go uh, just in case anything goes down. Uh, seems to be 
relatively simple to work on. So uh, I'm gonna put it in the range and bug out um, scenario. Um, next topic is firepower. I'm gonna say not too bad, uh, especially considering it's 10 plus one of 22. Um, anybody that says 22 is not gonna do anything, I'd like to see them stand there and let me rip them out. Uh, ergonomics, you know in all actuality, it's not too bad. Um, I think it fits pretty good. Uh, is it ideal? No. Um, but safety's right there where it's easy to get to. Um, the grip panel's not too bad. It's where it needs to be. Uh, better than some of the other um, some of the other guns out there. So, and the slicerations are not too bad. They're functional. Sights, okay. I did uh, paint the the front sight uh, just to be able to see it. Uh, the black contrast up against the uh, targets. I think it's a little better with the the white on there. And then, um, yeah, mag mag release buttons there. Um, I got mine to finally drop free. So, not too bad. Um, and then with this extension, I think the extension is kind of ridiculous because it has this curve right here. And it just, it, it really feels weird. So, if I get any more mags, it's going to be these ones. Uh, which I'm probably going to be getting here in the near future. So, ergonomics, not too bad. Um, accessories. Uh, there's not much out there. You're not going to be able to get uh, lights and lasers. And uh, uh, I do think that there's some people out there that's customizing some grip panels and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, uh, I think you're just kind of stuck with what you have. Um, value. I think it's an overall value, good value of the gun. I mean, like I said, I paid 205 for everything. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, what I paid. Uh, reliability and durability. Um, so far I've only put uh, 100 rounds, which I'm going to roll in the footage here in a second uh, of that. Um, and everything went good. I did have one one round here and you can see I mashed that thing three different times and uh, and each one of them hits is hit like twice where it just went click so I cocked the hammer again and hit them again um, this is just a bad round so I can't very well blame that on the gun I mean as you can see by the the hits on it um, it's mashing that rim so I mean the, the gun did what it was supposed to do uh, the round didn't this is some of the old stuff it's just super X so uh, it is what it is, um, which I'm going to roll the footage in now of uh, the first shots through it, and then after that I will be back to give um, an overall um, thought, and then also I'm going to show you how I did the modification, um, because a lot of people that do the modification don't seem too confident in what they're doing, and then also... Doom, doom, doom. Every video that I've seen, everybody's freaking out about this thing and voiding the warranty. Well, I'm going to go over that aspect and uh, kind of my thoughts on that. So, enjoy the shooting. It's just a real quick uh, thing. I didn't, I didn't record a lot. There's a lot of people out there shooting that day and making a lot of noise. But I did at least want to get the first uh, shots through both barrels on film for you. So, hang on. We'll be right back. Okay, first shots, uh, just some random stuff, long barrel.
Okay, short barrel, and uh, when I'm running CCI, just standard velocity. So. Okay, that's it for the, the test fire. Back to the video. All right, hope you enjoyed the little shooting segment there. Like I said, I didn't uh, get a lot of it on film because it was pretty noisy out there that day. But here is the, the firearm without the, the grip panel on it. Um, as you can see, I did the normal uh, where I grinded that back so that even when this thing is on fire, I can still push my magazine release button. And basically all I did was I, I put it in this position, I scarred a line, and then I just took it off and I hit it with the round um, sanding disc uh, to get the shape. Now, with this, as everybody knows, this normally lives here like this, okay? Well, everybody's bending this up and doing all this stuff and uh, basically, I don't see it really working too well that way. Um, all I did is uh, get it to come back out. All I did was grab this, and I just started wiggling it back and forth like this. And as I did, it loosened it up, and I was able to actually twist it this way and pull it out. And If you look here, you will be able to see, uh, and if you look at this, there's no metal breakage or anything, okay? So this is just a stamped part. Uh, basically what they do is they'll put it in like this, then they have a machine that does what's called staking. And all it is, is it's just, it's like a, basically like a punch, and what the punch does, it comes down and it stakes and it takes this metal from the frame and rolls it over onto this actual part here which holds it in place. It's called staking. Um, and basically it just comes right out. So if I ever have to send this back all I'm going to do is just put it back in there and probably take a flathead screwdriver because that's what looks like it's going to work the best and just freaking restake it and just throw it back in the box and uh, if they say anything about it, I'll just say, well, I've never had, I never had it apart. I am going to order a new safety so I can throw it back in there. But for the most part, I'm just going to claim that uh, I've never even had the grip panels off. So, and one of the highlights to uh, taking that out is your mags will drop free. So, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share.